asking how my day was. You weren't really listening. And in any case, I wouldn't have thought to tell you about how, when I'd taken the train back as usual and it was packed as usual, a little old woman had come and sat next to me despite my attempts to unfold myself defensively across both priority seats. Or about how, when she'd come staggering down the aisle, she'd looked like a wounded bird scuffling for the hedgerow. Or how she'd stared off into the distance and said, though he's been dead now for 15 years, that it took some getting used to being on your own, but that I wasn't interested in fixing her broken wings. I didn't think to tell you about how, when the train went into a tunnel, something in her warbled words or her time-scratched tone or the way that everything went black had reminded me of someone closer, someone whose wings I ought to fix. So I just said, fine, the train was packed, I'm tired, how was yours?